Hey, good morning. See this live from the bunker. On the topic of or. Or is a uh, or is explaining to see this. It's used to explain uh, godly influence. Now there are two different types of oros, two different types of godly influence. There's a an or which is an or makif, a godly influence which lies above our um, realm of interaction with it. And then there's an or panimi, uh, a light, a, a, a godly influence which directly influences and gives energy and gives chayas. Um, in our everyday life, we're completely and totally intertwined with it and interacting with it on a constant basis. However, there are times when this or makif, this, this light which lies beyond our interaction, has an opportunity to come and interact with us in a panemius sticker fashion, in a way which we're interacting, in a way that we're interacting with a, the panemius light, a light that we're interacting on a daily basis. For example, the Rebbe gives two examples of how this, how we can see this in our lives. One example is on Shabbos. During the week, we were tefillin when we're davening. Tefillin are there to bring us closer to God. It's like an antenna which helps us tap into these, these godly influences, these supernal influences when we're davening. On Shabbos, no tefillin. By nature, on Shabbos, it's already a way, it's already connecting with God in the same way that we're doing with tefillin. Instead of having to reach these higher heights, these heights are coming down in a panemius way, in a way that's already interacting with us. Our tefillahs, our davening on Shabbos is already connecting to this, to God in this, this supernal fashion, in a way that we usually have to strive for, but on Shabbos it comes more natural. That's why the feel on Shabbos is without the tefillah. The second example that the Rebbe brings is the concept of the Rav and the Talmud. A famous example, a, 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 a mashal that's used often in Hasidus. The Rav, the teacher, the Talmud, the student. The Rav has what to share and the Talmud has what to receive. Sometimes the Rav is able to give over a concept and it penetrates automatically. Other times it takes more, it's more challenging and it exists in what's called a, a more makif thicker fashion. In a more, um, in a way that, that's almost hovering over the student. Sure, the student can repeat the words that he's saying, but he doesn't own it. He doesn't receive it in a way. It doesn't become his. However, there are times after some toiling that it does become, comes down, like we're saying, panemius. The same way that this or makif, this light of Hashem sometimes, the supernal light of Hashem, sometimes is able to come in into a panemius way and we're able to experience it in our everyday lives. So the, the Rav gives over this information, and not only is he able to receive it, not only is the, the student able to receive it, he's able to, to own it, to make it his, to give it over in his own words. It's a concept that he, that he owns, he devours, he chews on, and he's able to give it over, and becomes his, it's a way it becomes internal. We ended up with a question today. Is it by nature, is it the nature of this or makif? that it has this potential to come down into us, that we're able to devour it, that we're able to experience it? Or is it on us? Is it on us? Is it on the way we're processing? Is it on certain times, like, like on Shabbos, the fact that it's Shabbos, that this or is able to be received and not by nature of the or? So it's a question. Hopefully we'll get to it soon. Have a great day.